We're here with Dan Day in Livermore, and he would like to share some of his experience as a keeper of the oldest continually burning light bulb. Well, I don't know if I'm the keeper of it. Uh, I work at the station here, and um, I, I've been with the department for 18 years and uh, going on 10 years at the station, uh, five as a, a firefighter and five as an engineer. Um, so we get a lot of visitors from all around the world. Um, the light bulb uh, started uh, burning in 1901. It was at the uh, uh, building at First and McLeod Street in downtown Livermore. Uh, it was the city hall, police and fire at that time. And there was a little apparatus bay with two, two bays off to the side of the building. And uh, that's where the light bulb was. Uh, this building here uh, was built in 1976. And it, um, so obviously they moved it here um, in 1976. So it was out for about 22, 23 minutes when they made the transition. Um, stories have it is when they moved it, it was big fanfare. Uh, they brought it code three, which means lights and sirens, although they went at parade pace. And uh, when they hooked the light bulb up, uh, I don't know how well you can see it in the back there up on the ceiling. Uh, it used to hang down quite low where the guys would walk by and they would swat it with their hands. Um, that was prior to knowing that it was has been burning as long as it has been. Um, so being wise, they shortened the cord. So everything's original up there. It's just been shortened. So when they brought it down here, they hooked it up. It's on its own circuit breaker. Uh, at the time, it was hooked into the backup generator. So if we lose power to the station, uh, the backup generator kicks on, and it would um, power the necessary equipment for the station, but it would also keep power to the light bulb. Uh, so they hooked it all up, they threw the switch, and it didn't go on. And everybody kind of hiccuped and went, Ugh! And uh, so some wise gentleman looked at the socket up there, and you can't see it from here, but right on the side of the socket is a little black switch. So he climbed up on the ladder, turned the switch, it came on, and everybody had a sigh of relief. and. Uh, Probably had to go change your underwear, I don't know, but yeah. Anyway, they were, they were very happy about it. Um, what else can I tell you? It's hand-blown glass. Uh, the filament is uh, a carbon filament. It's close to the size of a uh, pencil lead, so it's a little thicker than what you see in, in the bulbs today. Uh, if you look up underneath, and uh, hopefully our host will post a picture, of it. If you look directly up underneath at the right angle, it'll tell you that it's on. And it's just the way the filament goes around and it looks like a script word of on. Or if you, obviously you turn the other way, it, it says no. So, um, what else can I tell you about it? Well, wh when uh, did you first encounter the ball? Uh, when I got hired, well, it was actually before I got hired. I was a volunteer here for four and a half years, and a lot of our training was out of this station. So that's when I learned that there was a bulb. Um, and then I was hired in January of 2001, and 2001 was the 100-year anniversary. And I forget what month. It was in the summertime, I believe, that year. They had a 100-year uh, celebration. So they invited a lot of people. Matter of fact, Katie Couric interviewed our deputy chief at the time via satellite radio. Um, they had cake and a band and barbecue and all kinds of food and people from the community and all around came. Uh, we've had visitors from every major TV network. Um, uh, we've had uh, film crews from Germany, Italy, France, uh, last year in March, we had a uh, financial company from South America film a commercial. So they built a lot of the background uh, that you see there that's on the wall. Uh, that's all part of, of what was there uh, that they built for the, mo uh, the not movie, but the uh, 
commercial. Uh, Mythbusters have been here. Uh, if you guys have been around and know much of, of uh, California history, Huell Hauser, who used to do all kinds of uh, history things. I think it was called Gold Rush, California Gold Rush. He was here. Um, there was another one that was, he traveled all over the United States. Um, it's in the Guinness Book of World Records, Ripley's Believe It or Not. Um, been featured in magazines, newspapers, and I don't know if you know this, but when you turn 100 years old, uh, you will get a letter from the president uh, on white, uh, the White House stationery. Well, we have, and uh, I'll show the host, so hopefully make, make sure you have a picture of it, but uh, George W. Bush was president in 2001, so we do have a copy, it's framed and hanging on the wall. Uh, for people to view, and they sent it because the light bulb turned 100 years old. There is a sister bulb in uh, somewhere in Texas, uh, and it's six or seven years younger than this bulb, and they came one time and visited uh, to, to check it out and to see it. We've had uh, 55 passenger buses, tour buses, pull in to the back parking lot, and we've given little tours. Um, various groups use it as a uh, geocache. I shouldn't probably advertise that because people tend to come at all hours. And uh, we're a crew of four and we're the only ones in the station. So sometimes we're on calls or out training. Um, and so nobody's here, you can't get in, so you have to look through the front window to view it. Um, so how, how many people in the community know about it? Is it is it a hundred percent? Is it oh uh, no? You know, honestly, I don't know. Um, it's quite surprising. I would say there's a large amount of people that do not know that it's here, or they've heard about it but they've never come to see it because it's quite frequent. Frequently, we get visitors from Livermore, and they're like, "Oh, I didn't know this was here," or "Oh, I've heard about it but they've never come by to see it." Um, That's kind of typical that people, you know, who live here wouldn't value it yeah, as much. Yeah. But um, a real question is, why isn't this in a museum? That you would have to ask the city. Um, so the city is happy to have, have you know, here with the, yeah. with the yeah. famous ball. Yeah. And I think partly because it was tied to the fire department. It was used to light up the bay even back in the horse and buggy days before they actually had um, vehicles, motorized vehicles. Uh, so they've kept it kind of true to its original intended purpose, although um, it doesn't produce light for us to see. We have other kinds of light and electricity to use. Um, so other fire departments, do, do they uh, associate this department with the bulb? Did, are they aware of it? Uh, some guys are, yeah, sure. I mean, it's been advertised. It's it's out there. Um, I would think they would know. And what about outreach to schools? You know, to, to little kids. Do, does that happen? Um, not specifically for the bowl, but we do a lot of tours. Um, teachers like to bring their kids, uh, where we cover some fire safety. You know, they stop, drop, and roll, and all that. Plus, uh, we like to don our full gear. Uh, with the mask and everything and actually go on air so that the kids get exposed to what a firefighter looks like. Hopefully the, the thought is is that if they are an emergency, if there is a fire and they're hiding somewhere and somebody comes in sounding like Darth Vader and looking like an alien, that they don't get scared, that they run to him, that they understand that the firefighter is a friend and not a stranger. Um, and so we give them tours, we let them see the rigs, show them our equipment. Okay, well, the last question is probably going to be the most difficult. What happens when it burns out? Uh, hopefully I'm not on duty and find out. Uh, I would rather not have my name associated with the, the, the crew that was there when the bulb went out. Um, I don't know the actual procedure, but there is uh, a policy on what to do when the light goes out. And it doesn't involve changing the light bulb? No. No. 
Okay, well, I hope that uh, we'll be able to enjoy the light bulb, uh, particularly uh, through the internet with uh, the camera there, for a very long period in the future. Thank you very much. You're welcome.